Badass off-road trucks are basically our favorite thing at Four Wheel Online, so when Ram revealed their Rebel TRX concept, we got excited. It was clear that this concept was meant to be a Raptor killer, but can it dethrone the king of all factory off-road trucks? In this week's News Refresh, we're going to compare the Rebel TRX to the Raptor Super Crew in seven categories to find out which is the ultimate off-road truck. Hey guys, Ken with Four Wheel Online. Before we get started, you should subscribe. We'll be at SEMA in a few weeks to show you the coolest custom trucks and Jeeps, and you definitely don't want to miss out on our coverage. So let's get started. Our first category is going to be tires. Both come with quality tires. The Raptor has 34 and a half inch BF Goodrich All-Terrain TA KO2 tires, while the Rebel TRX has 37 inch Toyo Open Country MTs. It also comes with two spares in the bed because one is none and two is one, so the Rebel gets the win. Suspension is another key component of off-roading. The Raptor comes with three inch Fox Racing Shocks front and rear with an independent front and leaf springs in the rear. Similarly, the Rebel TRX has two and a half inch King Bypass shocks and independent front suspension, but it uses coils instead of leaves. Both have about 13 inches of travel, so we're calling the suspension a draw. Next up is the approach and departure angles. The Raptor is the loser in this category, with a 30.2 degree approach and a 21.8 degree departure angle. This is easily beaten by the Rebel TRX's 36.5 degree approach and 25.6 degree departure. The breakover angle is where things get a little bit tricky. The Raptor's breakover is 21.8 degrees, but the Ram doesn't list the breakover. Based on the Rebel's 3.5 inch shorter wheelbase and quarter inch higher ground clearance, we're giving the Rebel TRX the W for this one. The transmissions on these trucks seem to be a touchy subject. People love manual transmissions and will love them forever. The feeling of control from a manual transmission just can't be topped, but both of these trucks are automatic only. And because of that, we're giving the Raptor the win for its 10 speed versus the Rebel TRX's 8 speed. Now, let's talk about engines. The Raptor has a 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6. And if you think that seems puny, just remember the EcoBoost is a twin turbo engine that makes over 450 horsepower and 510 pound feet of torque. And it's the same engine with a few tweaks as the new GT. And that one makes over 600 horsepower. The Ford EcoBoost engines are some of the best out there, even if it is only a V6 but unfortunately they are outclassed by the Rebel TRX's 575 horsepower 6.2 liter supercharged V8, which is technically a Hellcat, but Ram doesn't really want to call it that. Why? Well, it's tuned differently and it's mated with a completely different transmission than the other models bearing the Hellcat name. Unfortunately, they haven't revealed the torque numbers, which is highly disappointing. And the final category is looks. Now, neither can look as horrible as the Chevy Reaper. So we'll call this one a draw. The Rebel TRX is the winner, with four wins, two draws, and one loss. But wait, we forgot one very important category. The one which truly decides which truck is better. Which truck can you go out and buy? Since the Rebel TRX is just a concept, the overall win for best factory off-road truck has to go to the 2017 Ford Raptor. But if you had the opportunity to buy one, which truck would you want? Vote in our poll right here, and then leave a comment down below. But before you do that, make sure to subscribe to our channel, then thumbs up and share this video with all of your friends. Until next time, I'm Ken with 4 Wheel Online, and you've just been refreshed.